It's always a beautiful day to have you here on my channel. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa, and I believe in you and thank you for always supporting. A lot of people have complained within this particular year that their accounts, KDP accounts, have been terminated, banned, and uh, you keep on seeing this type of emails on your uh, email inbox, and it's devastating. And I tell you that it can cost you some heart attack. If you have a lot of books on KDP, Amazon, you are making some income, and one day, boom, they will just send you an email that they are going to close your accounts. Our account has been terminated because of one or two issues. So today, I'm going to take this my time to tell you some of the reasons why your accounts may be terminated. Yes, I just want to, I've done researches, I've seen different cases. Yes, don't worry. You can get your account back sometimes, most of the times, but some don't just get their accounts back. But why do they suspend some of the accounts? I just want to take my time to go through some of them. And if you are into some of this, please start taking action and not getting yourself engaged in this. Some of these activities that I'm going to talk about may not explicitly be on the violation code sheet. You may not see them on the violation list, some of them, and uh, you think that, okay, because it's not there, I can go ahead and do that, and you do it, and they, they get you, and they terminate your accounts. So in most of the cases, once they terminate your accounts, you go down, there's a link that will tell you that, okay, go this customer, customer support, you can contact them and get your accounts back. But let's go through some of the list and see what you can do. Number one is you publishing low quality books. So if you are publishing low quality books, it simply means that uh, you're not taking a, um, amazing KDP serious and you know as any business, Amazon is a business and they want to give their customers the best. And some of the books that we see on Amazon KDP are low quality or inferior books. Let me tell you why. There are some books that you just go and see a book and you see coaches online telling you that you, you, you don't need to be a, uh, an author to publish a book. Come and let me show you. And you just go and pick some article somewhere and put that in a uh, PowerPoint or put that article in uh, Microsoft Word no proper formatting, and you start selling that as book. Like some 10 pages, 4 pages, and you keep on bringing out 10 pages, 2 pages, 3 pages as candle books, and you are selling them. Definitely, you'll be found out. And once customers keep giving uh, complaints about your inferior books, the, the return policy, they are returning your books, Amazon will take you on. So low quality books, don't go and publish low quality books make sure you take your time proofread them read them again use grammarly to edit your books if you don't even have the experience or you cannot speak good english use grammarly or let other people high people on fiverr high people to take to look at your books make sure you ensure the quality because it's painful to lose your book just because of this mistake so number two is using copyrighted materials this one is just is in the violation uh, cheat sheet on Amazon. They tell you that don't use copyrighted materials. S there are some copyrighted materials. Maybe some people will just go and pick other people's books and they start publishing them. It's wrong. Some people just go and copy someone's uh, 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 book title. The information in the book is just identical to that book. It's wrong because you've gotten a PDF copy of that book you think you can publish it. Please, it's not acceptable. If you publish that, Amazon will terminate your accounts outright. If they fi find out that you are publishing copyrighted materials, you are picking other people's books, and you are publishing them on Amazon, KDP, they will just ban or suspend your account. So be careful. Then even the people that you ask them to write your books, some of you, some people also use ghostwriters, and these ghostwriters go out to pick some information from other books without proper referencing, and they start publishing. That can cost you. So please make sure that you use the uh, use softwares to make sure that your book is original, is yours, is authentic, and you can claim that this is your book. Number three is 
having multiple KDP accounts, the rule is purely, purely stated explicitly. You can only have one KDP accounts. So follow that rule and you will not get yourself found wanting. And some people that I've seen, I've worked with, because of the fear that Amazon may close their accounts or Amazon may take them on and uh, they want to have like backup accounts, so they create multiple accounts. And because you are creating multiple accounts, you are using the same computer, you are using the same name because the banking details will be the same. And when they find out that it's you having two Amazon accounts, they will take you on because it's stated clearly that you need to have one Amazon KDP accounts. So if you have two or three or four, reach out to them and start even telling them that this is your accounts. You are deleting others because you have created them in error. Delete all and leave one account. Concentrate on one and put in content. Don't be afraid that maybe they may uh, delete your accounts or ban your account, so you need uh, a backup account. Please, no. Just use that one account because it's their policy. And they have like all the technology to find out if you are using two, three, or four KDP accounts. You may be lucky one in a year or a month, you make some small money from all the accounts, but once they find out, they are closing all your accounts. So please, have one KDP accounts. The uh, other thing is that duplicate content. And uh, this is an issue because most of the people who are into who are publishing uh, low content is okay. We all have like low content. We do different duplicated interiors. We change the covers to let people know that this is our book. But then if you are into Kindle publishing, you are having duplicated content, Amazon may take action on your accounts. Duplicate content simply means that some people go to bring PL, PLR books. Excuse me to say I don't know the law on PLR books. I'm not saying it's wrong, but imagine we have PLR uh, website and all the books in the PL, PLR uh, private label rights website, they are like 10,000 books or like, let's say even 3,000. Mo in most cases, they are just like 3,000 e-books or 2,000 or 1,000 e-books. And this 1,000 or 2,000 e-books, everybody is publishing the same book because it's PLR. So if you have access to this, you think it's your right, you can publish it because the rights of the book tells you that this, this, that. So you go out and you are publishing these books. I published the same PLR book, which is about coaching. Someone published the same PLR book, which is about coaching. Someone published the same one book, one identical book, 30 different people publishing the same content, duplicated content. Definitely, customers will start complaining and uh, Amazon will find out and we will be able to take you on. And some people too will have the same book, they change their covers, and even though it's the same book, they are just changing covers and they are publishing kind of book. It's not appropriate. So, stop that. Then also, using spam reviewers. There are some people too, they want to manipulate the system. Because Amazon, if you have reviews, it helps you to sell more. So some people are taking advantage of the reviews, and they are saying that, okay, because of having reviews, or I need reviews for my new book, they go to buy one, they buy reviews, and once you buy reviews, or you try to indoctrinate the reviews, or you try to ask people to review your books. And I've seen some people also doing reviews, asking for reviews on Facebook, and please, Know that Amazon, they have a team that is constantly watching uh, on Facebook, you see res researching on people who are publishing on Amazon, and they are seeing. So if you are asking for reviews, they will equally find you out because you are using social media. And anything you publish, people get to see it. So if you are asking for reviews on Facebook, they will find you out. If you are buying reviews, they will see because you are asking people who I just come in to review your book. They've not bought your book. Sometimes they buy your book and they review it and it's wrong. 
So please stop. Don't focus on buying people to review your books. Let the system work on itself. Let the customers tell you how the book looks. If it is good, they are going to what? Recommend that. If it's not good, it simply means that you can work better to get quality books. And sometimes if you have uh, customers may report your book based on abuse. So maybe the reviews is it's not good, the quality, and they report. If two or three people report such book, Amazon will take action on it because they know that they have to look at the content, review the content, and see whether it meets their specification or not. So please stop trying to manipulate reviews. Let the system work. I publish my books. I don't even care about reviews. Uh, I don't even care about like who is reviewing or who is not reviewing. I just let the system work. If people review, I genuinely go and I thank them. If they, it's a bad review, I thank them and I ask them what can I do to make the book better. And sometimes they even take the review down because I am honest with them. I am frank and open with them. So stop doing that. Number, the one of the things that you need to know is that this is a business. Treaties as such. Don't follow people and uh, just because I'm saying, oh, come and publish with me. I'm a coach. I'm a coach. Book uh, coaches. I have a course. Come. You don't need to be an author to write. You don't need any experience to write. These are all lies. If you want to win in the long run, please invest in learning about the system. Invest in reading the uh, books. Invest in reading the violations, regulations about Amazon publishing and you can get that done. So in case your book has been found out, your account has been suspended, you can reach out to, to them through customer support. They are rep responsive. They'll ask you some few questions. They'll ask you to identify yourself, and uh, they'll look at it and ask you if there are books that you need to delete, if there are books that you need to work on, they'll ask, tell you to do all these things. And at the end of the day, some people get their accounts back and some people don't. So please, let's all be careful and let's do the needful. Thank you very much. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa, I'm your friend. Follow me for more. Follow me if you have questions too, please. If you also have some additions, you can put them in the comment section. Thank you very much. I believe in you and I appreciate it.